Monday, Monday. <laughs> da, 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 da. Can't trust that day. <laughs> <laughs> So you see, we never had gotten to sing that because I'm usually not here on Monday. That's true. <laughs> There's so. also rainy days on Monday. Oh, I don't know that one. That's um, the Carpenters. Oh, yes, <clears throat> I wouldn't know much about the Carpenters. Mm-hmm. Except um, for Jesus, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, tomorrow is uh, Super Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Everybody will vote that hasn't voted already. Okay. <laughs> No, maybe not everyone, but some people. In the people. U.S., well, obviously, you know, in quotes, everyone. <laughs> All right. Everybody. But uh, we'll see. <clears throat> maybe we'll have a new president. Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> I think uh, more than likely. Hey, Lukey Pookie. <clears throat> hey, Lukey Pookie. But you never want to count them out. <laughs> you never want to count them out. <laughs> That's the the first mistake you'll ever make. <laughs> yeah, I've been saying for like I've been waiting for four years for this moment. How's it going, Shun? Hey, Shun, and I don't believe Trump is going to let me down. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, he's going to make a scene on the way out. He already has uh, <laughs> tweets ready that I won. <laughs> like, I like, no. like I know he's got them already lined up in the chamber. <laughs> hey, what's up, Ken? How's it going? Hey, K West or fifty two and Taco Joe. Thank you, Shun the Cafe Fan. Oh, Damien's in here. Hey, Damien. S M Rosney. S M Rosney. I'm having a great day, S M Rosney, and I hope you are as well. <clears throat> yeah, my day's all right. Not bad. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Not bad at all. <clears throat> My kids went back to school today in person. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. So now we all have COVID, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tough. Tough but fair. So, but, you know, I think it went as well as it could. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but, um... Well, we're going to continue with our middle game studies um, soon. Right. For now, we got to challenge Karen. That's true. Five minute or three minute, unrated or rated. Mm-hmm. Hey, Stephen Khan. Khan. Yeah. I was playing some Blitz on chess.com the other day, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I usually don't play chess, but I don't know. I figured I would play a little bit mm-hmm. <clears throat> or maybe we need a few more people to get here right we but, have about 20 so far yeah but as soon as i get a challenge i might look at some chess news for a second why not yeah yeah okay, well we could talk about the uh magnus slaughter mm-hmm. yeah, magnus it's... slaughtered oh we got mag, a... mag sudaloo oh i don't want to leave this window now it, it's mag v mag in that game in that match <clears throat> and mag won mm-hmm. it was 24 to 5 Wow. Hey, Star Princess. No, we just started three minutes ago. Uh-huh. Three and a half minutes ago. Hey, Star Princess. You believe in science and coffee. I thought you shunned the caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cross between caffeine and heathen. heathen. Yeah. Yeah. Caffeine. But he oh, shuns. But it, cause, okay, but he loves science, so he is like a heathen too. I get it. So it's like <clears> ironic. <throat> <laughs> oh no, it's too complicated. It is pretty complicated. Anyways, Thaddeus is ready to get whooped, huh? All right, let's go, Thaddeus. I wonder if I have the appropriate volume. Oh, it's. Oh. Sacre bleu. <laughs> the French. Yeah, on the uh, on the chess dot com stream, they were they were roasting the French defense. Well, Danny was. Oh yeah. Yeah, Danny's like, the French, terrible, frankly. Mm-hmm. And then Hammer was like, actually, I played the French when I was young. That's what he was like. Yeah, there seemed to be a lot of um, strong feelings about the French. Right. I'll say I played it a few times in tournaments, in, including against Ken, actually. Mm-hmm. I played a, uh, it was a, oh, that wasn't a tournament, it was an extra rated Ken. game. Yeah, on our stream here, Ken. And uh, 
I was like worse the whole game, but I ended up winning at some point when uh, time pressure was creeping in. I did mm -hmm. play a lot faster than he did, though, and let the time pressure speak <clears> for itself. <throat> then I, I lost to a master. It was uh, Alex Richter. I remember he beat me. It was a win a very complicated game. Yasser was watching like the whole game, too. It was a very complicated game. And uh, he was better most of the game, but it was just so complicated. And then eventually, uh, near the end, I blundered it when it was actually quite equal. Isn't the French pretty solid? Yeah, I mean, it's a classical opening. So most classical openings are are, are generally pretty solid, like the French or, or the, uh, the Carol Khan, for example. Hey, Intelligent, it has been a while. <clears throat> it has been a while. Hey, Intelligent. Oh, and Meepex is in here, too? It's just challenge 5 plus 0 unrated? Yeah, that's all you need to do. You can try X-Clam challenge. I had a really good Halloween, yes. I had a great time. Oh, look at that. GM no chance ever with the subscription. Thanks, GM. DK asks, Spencer, Karen, did you all vote already? <clears throat> well, I know Karen did. That's for sure. I did. I voted um, absentee ballot. Mm. Lovely games that day. <clears throat> remember playing some three or four games with? Do you do you remember playing three or four games with Intelligent? Me? Yeah. You, no. Who else am I talking to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang on. I'm trying to move. All right. Oh, J O A oft D B zero <laughs> subscribed with Prime. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can uh, we can try to get you a game, huh? But you will only play one or two games before lesson time. But we'll also probably Karen will play <clears> some <throat> games after lesson two. So if you don't uh, if you don't get one before that, then you could get one after that. You get what I'm saying. I'm voting on election day, says so Sean, because procrastination is my destiny. I'm watching these <clears throat> on YouTube. Yeah, that's uh, I post them up there, up on the, the tubes. Procrastination is a great SpongeBob episode when he's trying to write his uh, essay about... What what is it? What to do at a stop sign? Is that is that it? I think it's like what you, or what not to do at a stop <laughs> sign. Maybe I forgot actually. The break time. Yes. Yeah. What not to do at a stop sign? Yes. Yes. See, I I do know my sponge pretty, pretty good detail. You know, in in pretty good detail. Darn, it's just like all over me. And your time situation's not great either. <clears throat> Damn it. I don't even have anywhere I can go. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> How about there? I was thinking, hmm, I can see one good movie. <laughs> I like how he like forced you to play winning. Right. Cup, he like couldn't even not uh -uh. play that move. I mean, <laughs> still unclear position though. Yeah. But at least you got out of it. I did. <clears throat> That's true, uh, intelligent. Although there were a couple of things that both sides could have done, but we'll take a look at all that. Huh. I would think the other way around, kangaroo. Or probably you know more Futurama quotes because you just watched it. But nobody could ever beat me, SpongeBob, seasons one through three. Seasons one f through four, even. I'll add a, a little uh, extra little extra sauce there. Mm hmm. Yes, intelligent, I do understand. D d trust me, I know what you're saying. Although it's easier if you just type in the moves rather than the whole, you know, spiel about it. But I do understand what you were saying. Oh, 
Oh, this is too slow. All right, well, you know. I mean, it's a tough end game, but you're just going to lose on time. <clears throat> See if Thaddeus was watching our uh, Silman Endgame streams. If so, then Karen will be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if not, then it's anyone's game. Mm -hmm. But I am confident in Thaddeus here. Yeah. Mm. Since it looks like he's going to Queentown already. Mm-hmm. Didn't even, uh, his bus didn't even stop, just straight to Queentown. <laughs> no, it was like a monorail or something. <laughs> Pretty good technique, too. All right. I mean, that's just resign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Good game. Yeah, there were a lot of tactics that uh, could have erupted there, but mm -hmm. let's take a look. <clears throat> yeah, I was in deep trouble. Uh, you always play C6. Come on. Stop playing C6 and exchange French. Terrible. It doesn't develop a piece. Okay. Develop your bishop. Yeah. This moves good and that moves good. And then he took, so now it's equal again. Oh, I guess he's a little better because his bishop's better than yours. This move is like, are you kidding me? What is that? <clears throat> I was going to try trade off the bishops, but then I didn't even get to do that. Like the light square bishop. Oh, you want to do this and that. Mm -hmm. That's your favorite idea. He loved to do that. Well, that's because I always <clears throat> end up hating that their bishop's always a good bishop. But this bishop is not bad now. That's Because it's an exchange French. Yeah. This is not a normal idea in an exchange French. Hey, thanks, Thaddeus, for gifting that sub. Yay, to thank Sean. you, Thaddeus. To Sean. <laughs> How's it going, bishop takes? Yeah, I mean, but this is too slow. Like, mm -hmm. an exchange French is more saying. open mm -hmm. than a regular French, like with this structure where you got pawns here. Mm -hmm. that, when it's a more closed position, you can spend more time to do that. It's more saying. open, so you yeah. got to just get, I mean, bishop get g4. Pieces, yeah. You can put the bishop here if you want to trade it. Just get it out. You're already fully developed. You're ready to play the middle mm -hmm. game. Hey, bishop takes. Yeah, GG, Thaddeus. <laughs> I mean, look at this knight. I hated that guy. Yeah, it's because you played a5. Yeah. a6, then the knight's not, not <clears throat> so bad. Although, couldn't you theoretically have played like knight b4 all the time? Night before looks pretty mm. good. Well, g6 is a normal move, but yeah, night before would always be better, I think. It's weird that your opponent will attack your queen, but he won't see like the same move for you. He'll just let you do that. And he did it. Give me that. So now this is a problem. <clears throat> Ignored. <laughs> yeah, you're behind here, right? You're a little bit behind because you spent these two moves and that didn't help you get developed. So now mm -hmm. your bishop's sitting here. If it was me, my bishop would be here. I'd still be getting crushed on the queen side, but at least my bishop would be out. Now here he can take this, I believe, and that should win material. But I'm not sure. Let me calculate a little bit. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Yeah, I mean, it just wins material, right? Just do this. Take this way, I guess, right? And that. Oof. Yikes. <clears throat> Like maybe this is the best move to give up the exchange. I don't know, but you're getting crushed. Getting toasty. This is a piece down. Mm -hmm. So yeah, rook takes e7. Maybe even this rook takes e7 also wins. I don't like this one as much because then it's actually a trade. And then somehow white is an exchange down. <clears throat> so yeah, if you took with this rook though, that should win material. Maybe this wins material too, but I didn't care to. You're wondering if g6 was the best move? Yeah, I, I mentioned that. The g6 is a normal move, but night before would have been better, yes. Oh. 
Yeah. Now everybody in <clears> chat <throat> wanted you to do this, removing the defender with a tempo. They were like clamoring for this move. <laughs> yeah, that does seem like a good move. Well, it should probably also be equal material with best play. For example, here, I'm not sure these are the best moves, but like this. I mean, it's equal material if I just take everything, right? <clears throat> takes, 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 takes. Not sure that those are all the best moves, but, you know, just for example, if we take everything, it's equal material. And also what you did was equal material too. But this is worse, yeah. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that instead of clicking. This is worse because now you've got threats. Stuff is threatened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you're worse. Uh, I suppose you should go here to win this pawn. I don't really see a problem with that. Here the problem is he could just defend it. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe go here, so maybe you still win it. But he ignored it. Right. So here, it's kind of a tough situation, right? You're in a, a pin, but you can escape the pin with, by just moving this way, because there's mate. You can also go here to counterattack, for example, like this. Probably a draw. Mm -hmm. But you have to defend a little <clears throat> bit, because you can go like this, and then go here. So I don't know, maybe you're losing actually, I don't, I don't know. Seems like probably draw. Hey Nur, how's it going? But yeah, from here now it's a game over. He just played it fine and he didn't really do much. Mm -mm. But there is not much to do. No, Thaddeus, you were always better. Like, you are always better. But may okay, maybe if after Bishop takes b5 it should be maybe equal but you could have won uh, with rook e takes e7 here that's a big tactical miss because this it's kind of obvious to me this knight is loose this is loose like i mean you know what what, what more do you need to do a tactic like that it's just clear that you should remove the defender and win this but other than that thaddeus played a really good game pretty good game oh also he kept allowing you to play knight b4 which i wouldn't do but yeah all those sort of small mistakes for a blitz game. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do you think? Do you want to play another game, or, or do you want to get with the lesson already? <clears throat> Why don't we go on with the lesson, I think? Because it's, yeah, it's been almost 20 minutes. Well, this guy did sub. Oh, okay, yeah. We could do that. Then. Yeah, we'll play, play the yeah. one more game. We'll just take one away from the end of the stream. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. I'm flexible. Like flexo. Mm -hmm. First bender, then flexo, then fry. How's it going, Pet Serious? Hey, Pet Serious. No, no, come on, J O A O F T B. You got it. Yeah, it's no big deal. Wait, what are they saying? You could wait, is what he said. Tell me what? <sighs> we were just saying how we could play him at the end of the stream, but. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. I got confused. I wasn't leaving linking that, it back to that at all. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like centuries. 99 Intelligent. Good night, Intelligent. Good to see you. Spaghettios. Mm -hmm. uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Two bishops of Monta Alice. Oh, there's our intelligent, so we can't have more Indian friendly stream. Sean, I assume IST is like Indian standard time or something. Oh, yeah, I was right. I was right. Yes. Oh, Weird Gus is in here. Karen, hope all is well, says Weird Gus. Hey, Weird Gus, how's it going? What happened in the Carl Carlson-Mogsudlu match? 
yeah, Carlson won ten in a row. Actually, it was two and a half to two and a half. Then it was twelve and a half to two and a half. And then I think he drew after that. Hey Sinbad, how's it going? So yeah, Carlson smacked him around. He won twenty four to five. It was uh, it was pretty tough for for Mark Sudalu, but he's not really used to playing uh, super GMs yet. He's a little young. Hey Sinbad, hey me pets. He was definitely in it uh, for you know each game, it was pretty close. You know, it seemed like he could have won some games that he lost, but again, the experience really played a factor. You know, if you're not used to playing at that level for, how long is it, 90 minutes or something? Two hours? I forgot. It's kind of tough to continue and play over and over like that. But uh, he certainly will be back. He'll certainly be back in the future. He's so young and, and talented. And uh, Magnus threw a little shade at Anish Giri after the match. I saw the interview. Magnus was uh, well. They asked him like that. Uh, who who do, would he rather play? Because the, his next opponents were the winner of uh, Giri and Archimev. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, <clears throat> So Wrench, Danny Wrench is like, well, who do you want to play, like Yuri or Archer Mav? And Magnus is like, well, I, I want to make sure I play the strongest opposition, so I, I'd rather play Archer Mav. <laughs> Just roasting Geary for no reason. Hmm. And then uh, Hammer was like, oh, uh, you know, I don't think he was making fun of Anish Geary. Like, what? Of course he was. What are you talking about? From Geary's Twitter feed, I can't tell if he's just really snarky and ironic or a jerk. Well, it is tough. It is tough to see on the internet what people are up to. But um, I, either way, you know, his, his chess is, is not exactly a fan favorite. So, Danny's commentary is less than accurate. Well... Danny's just trying his best. He cares more about entertaining the troops than very accurate analysis. That's what you got Hammer there for. Hammer's analysis was good. And Hammer's pretty funny, too. So you got kind of, you know, kind of both action there. I always think Danny's kind of funny. Yeah. No, Danny definitely had some, some quips that I, I LOL'd at. No doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to play faster. Well, I'm bummed about the game. And this game's no good. Why not? Yeah, I'm not gonna I like white here. Yeah. Yes. Sacked in exchange. Get that compensation going. I mean, it was. There it is. A totally on purpose exchange sacrifice. <laughs> In a blitz game, I'd take, well, you got less time, but, you know, I'd take white. Well, maybe not, but, you know, some compensation at least. Mm -hmm. High kicking, low scoring, and ties? I remember missing the end of a tight game because he was showing variance and never noticed the players had moved. That does sound like a classic Danny special. Yeah, I don't mind Danny's commentary as much as I used to. I think he's a little better than he used to be. At least, uh, in, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Does Karen have the rule of sacrificing the exchange on the stream like Ben does? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, she does not have that rule. Looks like your opponent is consolidating quite nicely, though. Mm -hmm. Which is uh, rough. But he's pretty high rated, so he should know how to convert against you know lower rated player up in exchange. Yeah, I wasn't. 
Yeah, doubting. <laughs> I'm doubting. I'm like Mr. Doubtfire. <laughs> nanu nanu. <laughs> Got him. R.I.P. <laughs> All right. God damn it. All right. Let me see. <laughs> All right. I guess I'll resign. I'm too young for Mork and Minnie, says Sean. All right, GG, I need to get a tissue as well. All right. <laughs> Nobody's playing tomorrow, Nuranonum. Wednesday is the next match. It's Ferrugia against somebody I already forgot, but they're also very strong. But I forgot who Ferrugia's playing on Wednesday. Man, somebody I never strong. did like that show. I never watched it. Uh, Mork and Mindy, that was yeah. the dumbest show. I'm too young planet. to watch it. I was apparently. just completely dumb. Fedoseyev, yes. Ferusha against Fedoseyev. Mm -hmm. Go not Ferusha. Dang. Harsh. <laughs> yeah, I love Fedoseyev, by the way. He's great. I love watching his games. He plays very weird, very interesting, very aggressive stuff. He always likes to. Oh, you loved, <laughs> you loved Mork and Mindy. All right. <laughs> I hated that show so much. Yeah, Fedor Fedor say Ferrucia is gonna be very exciting. I don't even know who to bet on. I guess I'd bet on Ferrucia, right? But even still, Fedor say is no joke. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happened here. What had happened was so when they play D six, they're threatening this, so you should play H three, which usually you do, but you forgot this time. I did forget, yeah. Yeah, you should always <laughs> be playing H three. These moves you should always make against the King's Indian setup. You can make all these moves against the King's Indian setup. Then, depending on what they do later, you play c3, c4, knight d2, knight c3. But these are the moves you can always make against the King's Indian setup. There's no downside. This was a good move, because now he is trying to open up here like he did, and he still has knight h5. I mean, it all came together when you played d5. Probably d5's wrong. Uh, but I already don't love the position for you you don't have a perfect solution like knight <clears throat> c3 i guess knight h5 well maybe maybe you could try something like this yeah maybe this is good but the way the game went i thought black was doing pretty well right he gets the two bishops vatels and his dark square bishop's so strong that's really the problem with your position his bishop is yeah. so good and you don't have a dark square bishop now but he does have a backwards pawn on the e-file see whenever things go bad you gotta say like, okay, the position's changed, but what do I have? Like what how like maybe <clears throat> something is bad for you, but it, it's like there are three or four bad things, and there's like one or two good things for you. So you gotta focus on that. This is what's good for you. So you gotta play against that pawn. Which you did do. How come you don't like to play G three here though? G three seemed pretty obvious to me. You never played it. I, I thought think. it thought about it this is a good move though i still i just like g3 it's a solid move puts pawns on dark squares you have a white square bishop yeah i don't know if trading these knights helped you very much but... <clears throat> yeah. yeah b5 was good now you're in some trouble yeah and this move lost the exchange right because you opened up for the killer bishop mm-hmm but yeah, you're already in trouble here. But I don't like your plan. Doing that wasn't great. You gotta do that. So, you know. I also don't like queen d2 even. Like here, I'd play g3. Probably bishop d3. Queen e2. Maybe bishop f1. Something like that. Still, I'll take black. But I think you've got some chances there. b5 was a good move. And now you're in uh, Barney Rubble. <clears throat> here yeah you gotta break with this immediately which you sort of did you just did like that you don't really need your queen here for that like I would have done it first of all because then you can get your queen in here if he's taking it mm -hmm. which is kind of nice so you're a tempo slower there which might matter because he got back to defend he ignored you which was smart now I guess this is probably the plan 
but you're gonna lose on the queen side by then probably. Bishop f5 was pretty good. Maybe g4, right? Maybe g4. Just try to play it g4, h4, h5. But anyways, he took anyway, so you could still try to play h4, h5. I mean, maybe you could handle this better too, like moving your rook away might be better. But okay, he's already winning on the queen side end up material, so it's not so, yeah, not so uh, critical. So if I had this <clears throat> position with white, I mean, I guess I'd be crying, but I'd go here, I guess. Here's a variation I'm hoping for. Check. Ah, oh, this loses anyway. <laughs> this loses anyway. Dang it. So there's nothing to do. Yeah, rook takes a2, even wins. Oh, maybe this first. This first. Yes, yes, yes. Then here or there. Now I did it, because you can't play rook g7. And I guess I mate you. So... That's what you gotta try for some <laughs> tricks like that, you know. Instead, he just sort of did nothing and lost immediately and resigned. <laughs> yeah. Interesting game. I mean, he was a high-rated opponent, so it's no shame. And uh, you were in there. Even when he won the exchange, you still had some play, but you had to attack him more vigorously. Mm -hmm. You had to go like this and, and sack the bishop and such, because you already lost anyway, so... That's true. It doesn't matter too much if you lose the bishop and lose anyway. It's already losing. Yeah. Always sack the exchange. Sometimes intentionally, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you want to take a look at the book now? Yeah, definitely. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. I'll, I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys know about it again. Here it is. <laughs> Panchenko book. Oh, my fingers got... Hey, can find silver. <laughs> 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 that is a funny name. All right, this little subsection is called Attacking the Weakest Point. In a chess game, one tries to create strong point points for oneself and weak points for the opponent. When attacking the king, we find the weakest point in the enemy's defense and direct our fire attack that against that. The attacker's pieces occupy the weak point and create unpleasant threats close to the enemy king. In the following game, black clearly misses his dark square bishop. How can we exploit this? Hey, this would have been perfect, like, because your opponent was missing his dark square bishop. If only we had looked at this before the game. No, no, I don't think it would have made too much difference. Maybe. Set them up here. <clears throat> Did Ben do mastering the middle game while in St. Louis? <laughs> Well, I don't know what that means. Well, Did yeah, he do I don't it? Understand the question. He didn't. He he's not a book person, so to my knowledge, I'm sure he's done a lecture on that before, though, on middle games. Certainly. <laughs> All right. Let me just double check the position. I hate it when I set it up wrong and then ask you to find the move and it's wrong. Mm -hmm. All right. This is correct, though. It's white to play. All right. And let me change the names for you. Because you guys are always crying about it. Who's, who plays this game? <laughs> I won't remember it tomorrow, but tell me right now. Botvinnik had white against Karaz. Karaz generally considered one of the top three players never to become world champion. Mm. Botvinnik considered world champion, three-time world champion. Hmm. All right, so white to play. Maybe we can absorb the position a bit. So like uh, Penchenko said, black doesn't have a dark square bishop, but white does, and it's really good. This is just like your game with the guy. His bishop was very strong as well. Although his bishop wasn't pointing at your king, like how Botvinnik's bishop is. Just wondering if I spelled Botvinnik wrong there. Hmm. <clears throat> so I heard someone say recently bought Vinic. Mm -hmm. So which way, way is correct, or do you know? Because I've what always are the, said, what are the two ways? Well, I've always said bought Vinic, as opposed to bought Vinic. Oh, with the emphasis. Yeah, I think bought Vinic is more like Russian. 
Mm-hmm. Or Botvinnik is like, you know, English or, or American way of saying it. Okay. Not sure, just guessing. Yeah, Ken, I kind of agree with that move, huh? I kind of, I'm not sure if it's crushing, but it's funny that I can only see one response for black that makes any sense, and it doesn't look great. What were you thinking, Karen? <clears throat> I don't know. Following hockey for a long time, Russian last names tend to have the accent on the second syllable. Hmm. Although E7 is arguing Russian, em Russian emphasize the last part of the name. Who knows who's correct with these these comments? <laughs> so did you find any candidate moves, maybe? <clears throat> maybe some forcing moves? Forcing candidate moves? Yeah, well, I mean, I was trying to look at sacking the queen, like taking on f6, and then queen takes, and then I guess bishop takes and pawn takes. So really the only thing gained from that, I guess, is that the G-file is open. <clears throat> so I couldn't really figure out what to do. Well, hold, hold on a minute. If queen takes f6, he'll take with the pawn first. Oh, that's right. To win your queen. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. What you suggested was just a trade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, that duh. would be good for white. Even. Yeah, duh. Okay, so even so then, but I, that, you asked me what I was looking at. I was looking yeah. at sacking. Okay, so obviously. Yeah, Learning from Morphe there, right? <laughs> What? Yeah, we saw Morphe sack the queen in the last episode. Oh. It was queen on f3. I forgot that was Morphe. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, right, well, if the queen were to take and then pawn takes, I couldn't really see <clears throat> a game from it. Right. I mean, maybe you could do some knight h5, but it seems like you give mm -hmm. up a lot of material. If you can't get the rook over there, which you can't. Right, because the pawn is covering even g5. Mm -hmm. So let me see. I don't know what else. Um, we have Mepex coming in with the Ken suggestion. With the Ken suggestion. Yeah, Ken suggested it. <clears throat> Not Ken Fine Silver. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure. Maybe I need some help then. All right, well, let's uh, see what happened. Bishop C1. Bishop C1. Yeah, a forcing move, right? It just threatens the queen. Yeah, but I wasn't going to get that. What? I mean, it's just a threat. I That's know. all. You wouldn't look at your threats? I did. I just I didn't see anything beyond it. I can well, where's the queen going to go? Um... All right, this is the thing, is he doesn't have a great square. Yeah. That's why bishop c1 is so strong. After bishop c1, the only move is b8. h4 and b8 are suggested. But h4 does have a problem, you guys. What's the problem with queen h4? A little tactical problem. Bishop c1 would be good, and it is good, and it's the correct answer. A, Biola. Rook h5 is not correct, Bowler. Oh, never mind, yes. <laughs> Yes, Mepex got it. Bishop g5. Mm -hmm. Trap. Pretty sure that's trapped. Or maybe you have some unusual tricks to try to only lose a rook or something. But okay. So after bishop c1, queen b8 is forced. And this is why I was pretty sure this was the right move because <clears throat> that's not good. All right? That's terrible. And. Uh, well, we can continue from here. Also, here's another example, or another variation. For example, bishop, rook d7. We'll just move the queen. He still has to go back anyway. And then we even get this with the tempo. And then we pin him with an uncomfortable pin situation. Again, black wishes it was a dark square bishop on the board for him. You know, put him there. Protect the pin and skewer. But black is getting crushed on the dark squares. Although it's, it's, he says, only much better for white, not necessarily winning. Yes. 
Yeah, queen h4, sure. bishop g5, that you guys are right there. Sorry. Queen b8. <clears throat> Rook g5, x clam. White forcibly breaks through to g7, the key point in black's camp. And this is the threat too, right? Knight bd7. If knight e8 to protect. Here comes Utah. This. And so on. Winning a pawn and continuing the attack. <clears throat> Everything's attacked. It's like everything is awesome, but the opposite. <laughs> Never play f6 and so forth. So he played knight bd7 instead of knight e8. Let's see if... Uh, I wish I could attack like that, says Star Princess. Well, now's your chance. White to play. Let's see, what is it going to be? A silence befalls the crowd. <laughs> what move is going to be played? Interesting suggestion there, e7. How's it going, ex0, is it o, o, or 0, 0? I think it's o's, ex, o, o, 5, 2, 1. No, no, wait, wait. It's ex, o, 0, 5, 2, 1? Dang, I'm, I'm getting like uh, confused. Exo, yeah, that'll do it, that'll do it. <laughs> Xo. Interesting suggestion, Abiola. It's a zero, dang. Oh, XO zero then. That's actually kind of what I thought. Oh, look at Nuranonum with the, look at the big brain on Nuranonum. Really nice, Nur. Figuring it out. Pretty smart. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, maybe some candidate moves. All right. Um, no candidate moves even? You're thinking about no move? Wow. <laughs> How could that be true? Well, none of my moves work. I was looking, Such as? Okay, well, Rook takes on G7. Finally, a move. Jesus, like pulling teeth with you. I can't well, even get you to say moves. And then the king takes and then... Um, then my next move wasn't really any good. Like? Knight f5. Knight f5? Is there any other forcing move after rook takes, king takes? Um. Instead of knight f5? Maybe another check? Let's see. Oh, yeah, you've got, um, <clears throat> that bishop. Here? Yeah. Or, what other check? Or um, if you went knight h5, the knight... Pinned. Oh, yeah. That's exactly the <laughs> point of rook g7 x clam. Mm -hmm. Is that after king takes knight h5, you can't get rid of this so easily. And this guy's very weak. We're going to win him with our dark square bishop. Mm -hmm. And our knight combined. So I thought there was totally something crushing. over there. I just couldn't quite get there. Yeah, Nur got it, though. He's pretty <laughs> succeed. Rook g7 followed by knight h5. Well, Ken, uh, knight f5 actually did not lose a piece, in this position at least, because after it takes, you could just take with the rook. If you take with the pawn, it loses the piece. But rook takes, I don't think, loses a piece, as far as I can see. In fact, I still like white here, but I guess he didn't crush him yet. Just sort of normal position where white looks good. Yeah. There. There. Check. Now he stepped up to defend his knight. If you want to step back because you don't like your king to step up. Most people don't. This move's pretty strong. Although, is there something wrong with this? I mean, that's pretty good. I think if here it's going to be queen e5, actually. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. And in fact, that's why after king f8, knight f6, you don't have this move because knight takes this check and then you lose your queen. Actually, you don't lose your queen. You can do this. Yeah, you could do that. But okay, I don't have to trade queens. I can just run away. 
and then continue attacking. Also, I have this move too. So he stepped up to keep his knight defended. He didn't want to lose his knight. So Mepex wants knight takes f6. Knight takes f6. That's the end of his variation. Well, it's possible. Although after his next move, it was resigns. Queen e3. Black just resigns. Look at those dark squares. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing to do about it, right? There's nothing to do. You yeah, can't even make a move here. I don't see anything. You can't even play a legal move hardly. Everything. I can't find a move that doesn't hang mate in one other than this, but I don't really want to play that. Even this move hangs mate in one. Knight here? That's still mate. Oh, in this position, what about f4, says Neuronum, as if queen e3, unstoppable mate in one, isn't enough for him. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is the book does say f or f4 would also win. <laughs> kind of funny he mentions that. Yeah, f4 is a very strong move as well for f5, and it defends the knight. Yeah, but queen e3 is, I guess, even stronger. Yeah, Botvinnik, uh, he wasn't joking around this game, huh? It looks like just a, a middle game where he's got the bishop pair and he's ready to grind on him. Then all of a sudden he just wins by fours. Boom, shakalaka. Here comes knight h5 and has to resign. He made it look easy. And he wasn't, uh, Botvinnik wasn't really known for, for the attack, but he figured it out. You know, why not? <laughs> if, if you're going to let me win by an attack, I'll do it. Even if I'm not much of an attacker. But okay, I mean, Botvinnik could calculate very, very well, so mm -hmm. he can play any type of position, I think. All right. Let's see. Yeah, rook a8 was not great. Good ideas here. Why does he look like tall wearing a mask today? What? <laughs> I didn't <laughs> understand that statement. But anyways, let's take a look at the next game. It looks like we covered all our bases there. This will be an old one. An oldie but a goodie. Oldie but goodie. Yeah. <clears throat> it's tough when it's so early in the game. I wish they would just give me the moves. Mm -hmm. It's easier to make the moves than to set up the board at this point. Yeah. But I do complain a lot, like I said. So. The other day. <laughs> Let's see what time it is. Yeah, so we might end up being done before Ben gets up here. We can, yeah. I mean, we could do a little longer stream. If yeah, you yeah. It's up we'll to just you. see how it plays out. Whatever you want. Anything you want, you got it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's make sure this is correct as well. It does look correct because it's like all the pieces on the board. What are you, are you using to do these? A book right here. Mm -hmm. I did show it at the beginning, but I guess you missed it. Yeah. You did show up a little later, I remember. Bopinik said, when Tall sacrifices, accept it. He'll probably sacrifice more. But when P Bopinik sacrifices, you got to watch out. And when Petrosian sacrifices, resign. Well, that's you know, paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. But, uh, all right, so we'll look at this position. It's so obvious what the opening is. Maybe you guys in the chat could could guess what the opening is. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure about what the opening is in this uh, in this game. This is the right position, just double checking again. It is, and I'll put the names, because you guys love the names for some reason. I couldn't care less about it. But hey, who am I? Some guy typing in names. <laughs> this is uh, Newman from Seinfeld against Blackburn. Does black have an E at it? No, the burn has the extra E. There we go. Black mm -hmm. Bernie. Was Black Bernie black? Yes, he did have black. So, I don't know who Newman is, but obviously we all know Blackburn. Did you guys guess the opening? Neurononim's correct. And somebody might have guessed it above him. I, this is the first one I saw. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. King's Gambit, 100%. Dutch? What? A Dutch? <laughs> 
And then Mepex is like, Dutch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, a King's... Definitely King's Gambit. The only other feasible option could be the bird, but I'm almost 100% sure it's King's Gambit because he played e5 takes and that was pawns on f3. This looks like uh, Black's got a pretty good amount of pawns, one extra than the opponent. All right, so Black to play. Let's try to find what's going on. What's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, so who to play? Black. <clears throat> I got it right here. Yeah, I'm going to figure out when I get to go to karaoke again. Yeah? Never? Yeah, I didn't enjoy it last time this much. But it wasn't horrible. I just didn't... It was just alright. Hello, hi Karen and YM Feingold. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's YM? Mm, why, why isn't even next to N? Hey Jesper. Maybe it's like young. Young, oh yeah, yeah. He, you're right. It, he said young. <laughs> hmm. All right, black to play. Yes, MG uh, points out the most important part about this position right now. It's that white is threatening knight takes c7. Gotta watch out for that. Mm -hmm. And he also says white's got a good center. That's certainly true. White is threatening c7 fork. But Blackburn doesn't care about that. I can win a pawn with bishop b5, queen b5, and queen e4. Queen e4 would be illegal, Naranonim, because queen takes b5's check. Oh, hey, Pam. How's it going? Sorry, I missed that you said hi already. Hey, Pam. <laughs> How's it going? Good old Pam. So what were you thinking? Uh, Let's see. Mm. It's black to play, Jesper. Black's turn. Black burn. <laughs> Mepex with an interesting suggestion. I wish Karen would give a suggestion, though. Well, okay, well, I think... <laughs> I would take the knight. <clears throat> Bishop b5. Mm -hmm. And then uh, he'll take back and say check. Right. That's what I was looking I guess you'll block the check, but... Well, you didn't really win. You just took the knight and then took back. Mm -hmm. The game continues. So it's not too exciting. Maybe some other candidate moves for black? Um... Let's see... Some suggestions I can't possibly understand, like... Bishop Bishop F five? What is Niran Odom talking about? How can that how can that what is even the idea there? How's it going, Chess with Ovi? Nice. Good to see you, friend. Hey Chess with Ovi, how's it going? <laughs> Bishop F five defending C seven, that's true. I'll sacrifice a piece so I can not lose the exchange. <laughs> Too funny. Any other suggestions? Um. How's it going, Justin? King d8 is a solid move, but again, you know, it's sort of trying to attack, and that's the point of the book, this part of the book. We're attacking and winning by force. All right, I'll play the move, since I can't get any info out of you. Oh, well, oh HG. I'm yeah, I was actually looking at that. Don't uh -huh. I was. I'll believe it when I... Oh, no, no, I yes. Was. Well, definitely but... you have to look at your captures, especially when it's blasting open the king. Yeah. He's ignoring this, clearly. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Panchenko says. Black's position's better. The pawn on f3 serves as an outpost. If the g3 pawn is first exchanged and then taken, mm -hmm. the king will be completely on its own. Whether this was exactly Blackburn's chain of reasoning, we do not know. But he played very creatively. The guy just took back. He doesn't want anything to do with the C-pawn right now. And I don't blame him. Like, let's say we take and go here. Your knight's hanging. But if you take here and I do that, I don't think that that was great for white. That looks awful. Also, even, like, other moves come to mind here. But 
Yeah. So he just says, I'll take back. No problem. Oh, also he mentions a different variation here. Instead of h takes, he does look at bishop b5. Check. And queen f5 to defend the pawn. Knight h6. I wouldn't expect queen h f5 for the record. Here. The position is complicated, but black has the advantage. Yeah, I mean, black's a pawn up and, uh, you know, it's no problem at all. But I do wonder why is it queen f5 and not queen d3. Right? That would make a lot more sense to me. Still, we can do this and and black still remains better in my opinion. Yes, also somebody in chat mentioned the queen h4 is a possibility. I assume they mean in this line. Yeah, there's a lot of good looking moves for black. Mm -hmm. So hg is so strong, yes, absolutely. How's it going, Darf? <laughs> fries. Hey, Darf, how's it going? Wish I had some fries. <laughs> H takes. And then he goes, C6, interesting move. Striving to attack at all costs. Objectively, this move loses. But this remarkable game would not have been made if the text in the textbooks if Blackburn had played some other way. So he's actually losing on material on purpose here. And then he just ignores that. Knight f6. And then here, Blackburn's like, I'm never taking that. <laughs> Your knight could go on a rampage. Then, you know? So Blackbird's getting crazy here. As the chat said, Blackbird didn't care too much about material. Mm -hmm. Alright, but now White blundered it. He took here, question mark. The knight was getting a little bit too, uh, he's feeling himself too much here, I guess. Took that, mm -hmm. took this, took that. I don't blame him. Go on a rampage. Is it still a desperado if it never dies, right? We'll have to ask the eagles about that. But instead, knight e6 x clam. It's actually an easy win because we just take the knight next. You know, for example, bishop takes, queen takes, so white wins. Actually kind of a big hole in Blackburn's concept. This move just puts cold water on it because we get to take your knight, you're not going to crush me then with your knight. Although we do lose two knights, but you give up everything here. So So instead he took on d7, question mark. Yes, the knight was out of control. <laughs> it does look kind of like a, a bullet game, yes. Yes. Knight takes g3, as suggested by Jesper. Correct. Yeah, this knight took everything, and it was just ignored, because we're going for mate. Which, mate is the most important, yes. But, well, a lot of material lost. White has an extra rook and two minor pieces. But there is no defense. Oh, Darf cheered, 101 bits. Yay, and 101 viewers. Nice, matching. <laughs> Thank you, Darf. Was C C6 was a blunder. C6 was not the best move, correct. Uh, but Blackburn was uh, getting a little bit too creative, so, you know, we can't really, <laughs> can't really blame him. He just wants to go all in. That's the type of guy he was. <laughs> 96 check, X clam. The, th the threat, for example, after... Bishop d2 was rook h1 check, rook h2 check. Now if you take it, it's queen h4 mate. Queen h4. Etc. Mainly etc. But what about king, uh, no, king e1 is illegal. So that answers my question. So, knight e6 check is the move. Gotta watch out for rook h1, rook h2. Tons of Blackburn's moves were blunders, according to engines, but a few moves later, engines somehow tend to like his position. Oh, well, Blackburn is a very aggressive player. No doubt about that. He put a lot of pressure on his opponent. Uh, but maybe it wasn't the most precise, and probably couldn't calculate as well as guys like Steinitz, for example. But was still, you know, pretty reasonable. Takes <clears throat> queen g6. 
Now, rook f1 check, rook h1 check, followed by rook takes f1 check, does win. Oh, thanks, Chess with Ovi, for the subscription. Yay, thank you, Chess with Ovi. Thank you, Ovi. So that's winning, but instead Blackburn did better. Rook h2, double x clam. Styling on him. Oh, Blackburn was your favorite 19th century player, huh? E7? I was always a fan of Anderson. Mm. But Blackburn was no joke, yeah. I mean, Morphe was the best, but his career was kind of short, so... You know, all the games that Anderson played, you know, it's tough to say that Morphe had so many games that were better. Oh, look at this train getting going. <clears throat> Jesper subscribed. Thanks, Jesper. Yay, thank you, Jesper. Yes. Yeah, I like and Yeah, everybody loves Anderson. Come on. He played this. So what's the point of the move, right? Let's say we do that. I'm assuming it's queen h4. Queen h4, queen h1, queen f, h2. And then queen e2 mate, yes. Here, there, there. Now if you go here, it's mate. However, we could keep trying, right? We could keep trying. Where's the mate, right? Hmm. It'd be funny if there's just mate in one and I can't see it. I mean, this move looks pretty good. It's even check. Mm -hmm. hmm. But then there, I can't quite mate. Oh, that is mate, yeah. So for example, this is mate. Uh, your tummy's rumbling. Okay. Or was that me? No, that's my tum. Oh. <laughs> I heard it. Hey, because um, I think the kids are going to go get food. They could get you fries, which you mentioned. Maybe. Just a Maybe. Thought. I'm still having trouble winning with black here, honestly. E5 then? Okay. I'll go here. It's like I'm running out of checks. <laughs> I'm running out of checks. Okay, so here's me pecks with the answer, I guess. This, then that. But then if here, check, there, check, there. No, I haven't won. I haven't won. Did I? Ah, see, look, I knew it. I knew I was crazy. It was just mate and one here, not to queen h1. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes. I knew it was too much to be analyzing that much. I was like, no, we got to go back and find a better move. Yes, yes. 92 is just mate and one. Yeah. So he can't take queen h4, 92 mate. So rook f3 was the try instead. And then here. Okay. So now the difference is 92 is not mate because he doesn't have a rook. So he can slide over. And instead, he did play queen h1 in this variation. We can analyze this a bit. If we check here, he can block. No, he can't block with the queen. He can just step up. Can't block with the queen because we're attacking it with the knight on g1. Yeah, he can step up, and then he's, he's actually not getting mated here because you don't have a great check. And you could do this. I guess that's the check to do, right? That's the only one. These checks trade the queens. Yeah. What's the theme? I said it, but I already forgot. Attacking the weakest point. In this game, it was g3. And then, uh, let's say here. Right, so after here, we don't have the greatest check. Because if we go here, now our bishop's actually hanging. And this is the only check that I can see in the position. No, we can take this. We can take that. Even this looks like black could win this, right? Black could actually still win this. Mm -hmm. Let's see how he did it. He went queen h1 check. Queen g2 check. Knight f1 check. Now if you go here, it's mate and one on e2, which we've already seen. So he has to step up. And then he just wins the queen because it's a free queen. Easy. Easy win, right? Right here. Check. Only legal move. Now if here, it's mate and one. So only move is here, and then we win the queen. Nice. And the rest is history. 
somehow Blackburn's even up material after he sacrificed all his pieces. And resigns finally. Could have resigned a little earlier. Yes. Blackburn's annotations. He says Rook H2 wins by force. Yes, it does. Rook H2 certainly wins by force. And Panchenko gave it double X clam. Rook H1 also wins, though. So I'd be hesitant to give this double X clam if he has another winning move. You know, but it's the best move. And also the flashiest. So kind of a good combo. The best move and the flashiest move all in one. Oh, here's his note. This move wins the game. White didn't expect that one. But he hadn't foreseen it when he played c6. Yeah. I wouldn't expect. Although he didn't even need to. The hype train is long gone, it says. <laughs> and then it has some emotes. Wait, where is that from? Oh, that's just Blackburn's notes on the game. Oh, that was his notes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. He's got it in there. Hmm. McDonald was there, losing to Labordne. Although, actually, there are two different McDonald. There's McDonald, and there's McDonald. I, I don't know which is which. <laughs> but those are two different people that played at different time periods, even. Yeah. Yeah, the, the train came and it went. Kangaroo. Choo -choo. <laughs> All right, so he roasted him that game. Great game. Really nice. I liked it, even though it wasn't perfect. Mm -hmm. Like, C6 actually is losing, but... You gotta play. You gotta go for it, right? Yeah. Can't uh, can't be pussyfooting around, you know. Here's another oldie there. Coming up, this will be a Chigorin game. Any uh, funny chat going on or what? No, hey, chess with Ovi. He says, "How was karaoke that particular night?" Um, yeah, I think I went by myself, didn't I? When? Oh, oh, I remember when Ovi was here. Yeah, it was a good. It was fun that night. It was fun that night. I had to think because I had. Then I went Saturday night with Spencer. I don't know why. I just was. I didn't. Wasn't. It was just an okay night. But it's probably more my mood. But yeah, it was fun. We'll have to go another time. We'll go to the one that, the place that doesn't allow smoking inside. And then you won't get stinky. Well, at least not from the smoke. <laughs> the other place is nicer anyway. So this is Teichman against Chigorin. Teichman's pretty good. Teichman with white, but he's no Chigorin. Chigorin is really good. All right. Oh, take it easy, Jesper. There is the live in. Bye, Jesper. There's an attack. How do you know about it? Oh, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about nothing. I haven't seen the news today. All right, so it's black to play. It's Black's turn here. Black so let's see what Black did. Right. Yeah, Chigorin does have a whole opening named after him. And he even has a variation of the Rui Lopez named after him. Hmm. Yeah, terror attack in in Wiena? V Vienna? I guess, it must be Vienna, right? Yeah, I guess so. With the W there, it's tricking me. Mm-hmm. Wow, scary if true. Richard the Fifth. He won so many fifth place tournaments. He in tournaments he was nicknamed Richard the Fifth. I didn't know that, but that is funny. So why don't we try to identify the weakest point? Because that's the name of the section. Mm -hmm. I was looking at the uh, the. Diagonal to the king is open. Mm -hmm. Hey, Indo. How's it going? Hey, Indo. How's it going? So. 
Well, I was thinking the weakest point is, is probably C3. Yeah, yeah, that was weak too. That's what I was thinking. But yeah, the, the structure gives him a lot of weaknesses. These mm -hmm. three squares are all pretty weak in this pawn structure, including yeah, that... actually these squares, but okay, it doesn't yeah, matter as much. Yeah, pawn's isolated too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've been doing all right, Indo. I've been doing just all right. Mm -hmm. A lot of people seem to like the move B4. That looks pretty smart. I guess uh, B4 I would play C4. And then you'd probably play Knight C3 and I'd move my Rook. I like black there, yeah. Don't know that you've, you've you know, successfully checkmated me. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I kind of like the pawn on b5. In fact, it's clear that black played b5 to control this, right? You can't play c4. So he's sort of holding this weak point back, assuming that that is the weak point, which I'm just assuming. Planning bishop a4. b4, c4, knight c3, rook move, bishop a4. Yeah, yeah, I have to move my queen. No, you can keep up some initiative there, yeah. You can certainly keep up some initiative with b4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, b4 does look good. Any mm -hmm. other candidate moves? Um, I like b4. Um, let's see. Two bishops of what else in this position. Mm -hmm. Rick A, F8. Hmm. I'm going to go with a hard pass on that. Rick A, F8 does not, would not be a candidate move for me. Got to attack White's king here. Rick A, F8 doesn't do that. F4 on purpose, hanging H7. Yeah. Just, uh, Trying to get some counterplay there. But again, I want to attack the weakest point like you guys were doing. Right, Chagorin did prefer uh, to not have the bishop there. He's like, I want two knights, baby. Ridiculous. Oh, thanks, uh, the flesh curtains, for your uh, compliment on my shirt. Maybe a5 or bishop e8, preparing c5. Looking at sacrifices like knight e3. None of you guys played what Chagorin did. All right, let's see what he did, huh? White has two bishops, what else? So if the position opens up, his advantage will be fully on his side. Black's hope is to exploit the open position of the white king. Queen e7, x clan. Rerouting over here. Check, and then here comes the knight. On you, oh, I guess you could try to defend here. All right, strong idea. He tries rook d f one. He's trying to run away, train never coming back. And also, he's probably concerned like how Ovi wanted to do this, bishop a four. So he's getting his rook out of the way. Let's look at another option, king b two, preventing queen a three. Yeah, we can look at f four, also. I mean, do you mean black playing f4? Not white playing f4, right? Black playing f4. King b2, rook b8. See, that's the problem. You stop queen a3, but then here comes the rook. g4, try to get some counterplay, I guess. b4, c4, knight c3. Check. b3, exclam. Almost as good as b6, exclam. Because now after takes, we can bring our queen in with check. And rook takes, crushing, attacking the bishop. And if you trade queens, it's a fork, bishop and king fork. And uh, gg. So a really nice variation combining the ideas of queen a3 with b4. That's how you do it. How's it going, KQ? Hey, K2. K2. I mean, <laughs> almost. Hey, K2 Hegemon. Yeah, here comes the shack attack. Hey, Nerd Nays. Yeah, we have a few viewers today. F4 was suggested, I think, in this position. 
Um, even though this is hanging, they knew that. They're just like, come on, let me do it anyway. That's a pretty interesting move. Let me see what I would do about that. I might take the pawn, and it's a pawn after all. It's a pawn between friends, right? Well, you could start with it. Now, this is uh, kind of hanging, and if I play e4, my bishop's not really hanging yet, but it is trapped there. Like, if I play e4, you move your knight, then my bishop is kind of trapped, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't really want to play e4. I guess I would just simply take it. Probably knight takes, I assume. And then I can, uh, I can take the knight or I can move my king. Or I could do both. Oh, this is interesting, but it doesn't seem completely crushing to me. It seems like black sacrificed a pawn and has pretty reasonable compensation. More than reasonable, I would say, actually. But I don't know, it doesn't seem like you have too many threats, even if I just move the king. What's the follow-up? I don't know. Don't forget that I have this diagonal covered pretty nicely. And you can't play g6 also if I keep my bishop. So yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of like white more and more the more I look at this position. I keep wanting to play white here. What's your comment on Magnus versus Magsudalu 24-5? Well, that was, uh, that was more one-sided than I expected, actually, but I did think Magnus would win pretty handily. But 24 to 5 is ridiculous, especially he won 10 in a row in the middle. Yeah. After e4, I would take that bishop and blunder everything with check. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. e4 here, tanging everything. <laughs> That's the way to do it. f4 is an interesting move, but it seems like I like white there. This is a really nice maneuver. Very good stuff there. Yeah, he got adopted e7, that's right. <laughs> Rick df1. Here comes the check. Running away. And b4. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty. I'll, uh, I'll just chat with the people. <laughs> How's it going, just the people? Roll it over here. Keep rolling, 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 okay. rolling. What? Well, this is all I've got, so just bring me a change. Now. Okay. Don't drop it. Magnus I'll needs some carts. He has hey, to become a Hey, do you want any fries or anything? No, thanks. You're good. Hey, you know what I will take is some sweet tea, no lemon. Okay. I could scoot over a little. That camera's gone. <laughs> what? No, I was just saying I could scoot over a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, hey, I always hate it when you're off. You just don't and yet you never let me in. I let you it's in. Like, you just don't want to sit. It's like a catch twenty two. You something. don't want to sit right next. That's true because my elbow, you know, my elbow. <laughs> All yes. right. We're good. If you had done b four and they countered with f four, is that terrible? Oh, that's interesting. Here you want to play f four yourself. Well, the thing is that you know you're sort of forcing me to do what what the guy did in the game. Which I thought that was good. So you're gonna make me do what a good thing? I, I don't know why. Why would you do that? You know, don't make me do something good. Make me do something bad. That's all. I wonder if Holden knows to get his food. You mean if Archer knows to get Holden's food? No, if Holden knows to get, to get his, his own food. food. Yeah. Okay. How's it going, Jesper? Oh, oh, hundred bits, Jesper. Thanks. Yay! Thank you, Jesper. They're both, each of them are getting their own food individually? As far as I know. <laughs> that is a little, or they're going to the same place, right? Yeah. Weird, weird stuff. They might have worked it out to where one is going or. E7, I was really thinking that actually. Oh, another 100 bits. Thanks, Jesper. Yay, thank you, Jesper. I saw Magnus play 2A3 and he also played 2 dot 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 knight f6, the Nimzovich uh, Sicilian. So he must have been watching my, my unorthodox Sicilian series there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably. 100 bits as a paddling, what? Yeah, from, uh, you know, Simpsons. Oh. Well, you didn't say 100 bits. It's like talking in class, that's a paddling. Chewing gum, that's a paddling. Oh, okay. You know, etc. I'm not in the Simpsons club. Well, oh, another 100. Thanks, Jesper. Yeah, See, if he keeps Jesper. donating in 100 increments, we have to keep thanking him. Oh, okay. That's why. <laughs> that's how I would do it, at least. Levy Rosman recommends two A3 Sicilian in his E4 course. 
Well, I already refuted that with my video, his whole course with one video, so roast. <laughs> no, I'm sure his analysis is pretty good. <laughs> Another 100 bits. Thanks, Jesper. I'll keep thanking him. Yay, thank you, Jesper. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> here, and then here comes the night. No, this looks pretty bad for, for white at this point. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? That's pretty frightening. Yay. Oh, thanks for the 100 bits. Who was it? Oh, Jesper. Yay, Jesper. Rick D8. G4. Here's the counterplay, right? <laughs> Look at all that counterplay. Check. He played King E2. A couple other variations here, short variations. Takes Queen B1. Bishop C2. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, this is like Karen getting crushed on the back row here. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Rough. Rough, I tells ya. Oh, this position's awful. He's so passive and has weaknesses even. Now, uh, Chigorin started getting crazy here. Knight C5. Clearly, if you take it, that's not acceptable. So he played Queen B1. If Bishop B1... This is the funniest variation. Bishop b1, we checkmate the queen. <sighs> How good is that? Checkmate the queen. Mm. Totally stuck there. So he played queen b1. He figured that was better than losing the queen. Pretty smart. I can't ever see this kind of, When it's too crowded like that, it's hard for me to see that. A little that. overwhelming. <laughs> it's just too many. Yeah, I just can't see, see it. White has a lot of counterplay except for one thing, yes. And resigns. I think, I guess he's going to lose his queen, right? Because uh, if you go here, check, king e2, bishop f3, king e1, queen b1 is actually mate. Um, well, let's look at some variations just to show you. Here, check, wins the queen. Easy. Mm-hmm. And this is the only other safe square. Just making sure that's true. And then here I'll win like this. Here, check. Attacking your queen. So I either win your queen or you go here. Then I can check here. And if, if you play king e1, I mate you. You could play king here, but then I'll mate like this. And then that's it. That's all the legal moves. That white has. White has no more legal moves. Well, white could take the bishop and lose the queen. That's the best move, but you're down a queen, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, slutty Thai Pai. <laughs> Good name. So, yeah, a pretty big demolition derby there, right? <laughs> this is what all started it, though. A nice reroute. He did want to target c3 like we did. And he knew that he'd play b4, c4, knight, c3, like what happened in the game. But why not get our queen over here first, right? Mm -hmm. Then b4, c4, knight, c3, bishop, a4. And we have knight, bishop, and queen all infiltrating like we saw, you know, around here. You know, a little, I went a little far there. Yeah, knight, queen, and bishop all infiltrating on the queen side, and the game is over. Can I play your girlfriend? Can he play your, your girlfriend, or...? Um, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. <laughs> hey, thanks for the 500 bits, Jasper. There's no girlfriends here. All right. Um, I only play black, if that's okay. <laughs> Weird. No, you have to pl play um, you know, both co colors. <laughs> All right, how about another one, huh? No? Oh. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll say yes, we will do another one. Well, sometimes you can pick a color in a casual game. That's yeah. true. Especially black. Mm -hmm. I'll take white. That's true, yeah. You just be easy about it and play black. Easy like Sunday morning. <laughs> Takes all the choice out of it. Oh, you like black, Nur? I like moving first. I like when it's my move. <laughs> yeah, I but like. But that's just me. I know. prefer white, but show us some crazy game. What? These aren't. 
Oh, I do know Paul Gajewski and Nezhmet Zidanov. That's when he sacrificed his queen on uh, f6 really early. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That was a different one. Paul Gajewski was uh, when he... Mm-hmm. It was an old Indian and, and he crushed him. Yes, yes. Yeah, that, that was a nice game by Nezhmet Zidanov. That's impressive job spelling that name, E77C Daffy. Assuming it's correct. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Which it looks right, actually. Yeah, mm-hmm. Queen takes F6 was Chernikov, right, right. Yes. All right, so here's a game. Well, I'll have to change the names so you guys stop crying. Mm-hmm. Where, where? Here's what you guys are saying. This is Capablanca against Janowski. So Capablanca has white, and it's white to play. Huh. More of a, an end game, huh? Sort of. Mm-hmm. In between an end game, I guess, and a middle game. Oh, you speak some Russian, so you know about these Russian names, I guess. I'd like to see a Grandmaster game that uses some of these principles. Well, most of the people that we're looking at like Capablanca, for example, uh, they weren't officially grandmasters, but that title didn't exist. They would be if you know title did exist, like Blackburn too. So white to play. A very complicated position here, huh? Mm-hmm. It's very difficult with the queens on the open board. Can you do Carol Khan games? We actually uh, did look at some Carol Khan games earlier um, mm-hmm. in the year, this months ago. So, <laughs> yeah, you can check all of our, yeah, on YouTube. Thanks, Kangaroo. You could check out all of our old streams on YouTube. Check out that, that link that Kangaroo dropped, or Moobot dropped it, I guess, mm-hmm. but Kangaroo triggered it. Now Moobot's triggered. Previet. <laughs> Interesting suggestion from J O A O F T B zero. It's white to play. Capablanca has white, and it's white to play. Kangaroo coming in with that little trick, little trickster. One problem with white's position, though that might refute kangaroo's idea is that yes his his king is pretty weak now it's true that you have a fork but i don't even know if that would refute your move knight d7 queen d2 check king moves to a1 let's say queen takes d7 queen c8 check but the thing is that that could be perpetual check anyway that this is the point I was getting at. White, if his king is this exposed, like let's say I play, for example, knight d7, knight takes d7, queen c8 check, king h7, queen takes d7. And it's black's turn in that position. Black can just start checking you till the cows come home. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesper's confirming the Vienna attack, actually. Oh, I didn't even hear anything about it. That's terrible. Well, what about knight a knight a six? Wait, is Jesper the one who said it in the first place though? I'm, I Somebody know. said it earlier. Right, Jesper. I already forgot uh, what's going on. Mm-hmm. But anyway. So what were you saying, Karen? What about knight a six? Knight a six, trying to break it down. Mm-hmm. This is what I was talking about though. Let's say that I'm very uh, cooperative. I'll just trade. Okay. You'll take back. Are you really not going to get perpetual check? Well, that's what I was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. King, so, okay. so that's why e7's got a really good idea here. e7 will play knight e4. Now it's just buenos no checks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I still got threats. I still got threats mm-hmm. and ideas. Oh, here comes uh, Thank drink you, time. sweetie. Hey, remind your brother to get some food. You got some? Okay. (laughs) Thanks, sweetie. All 
All right, so let's read what Penchenko has to say. Black's position's worse. His H-pawn's only two squares away from promoting, but the weaknesses on the squares around his king and the passivity of his knight make him the defending side. 94 x clam. Yeah, knight d3 allows at least this check, right? But maybe you can still play like knight... Oh, no, no, knight b2, we would trade queens and, and push it. <clears throat> push it real good. So yeah, knight e4, no more checks. Absolutely. An excellent square for the knight, from where it can work on two fronts. So you can even go for a kingside attack. This is a nice addition as well. You can play knight here, and that's mate. Knight g5, queen c8 is mate in the oh, face. Yeah. Oh, you can give away your queen, but yeah. So he goes for king h7. Let's look at some other options. Queen h4 was suggested in the chat by the bad master himself. That's an interesting move. Um, I guess I could check. And then I, I would love it if I could take and then you take and it's my turn. Because then I can try to win without getting perpetual checked. Although maybe I can't actually if your king's on h7. I don't have a check there myself. Maybe he gives queen h4 actually. Actually, it says most tenacious is queen h4. That's the best defense. But he doesn't give any analysis. He just says more tenacious is queen h4. He played king h7. So queen h4 is the best defense. h2 also loses, though. Queen c8 check. Queen h3 check. King g8. If king g6, queen e6 check. That wins the queen. Because any king move allows... Knight check takes the queen, which also stops me or promotion. So king g8 in this variation, queen e6 check, king h8. If king f8, queen d6 check, king f7, knight g5 check, and wins. You have to go to the back rank, I take your knight with check, and then I'm going to win for sure. I can even come back and just take your pawn. You won't even have a check with your queen. Imagine my queen is here and my knight is here, you don't have a check with your queen. You can't play queen check on e6 because my knight guards it, and my queen also defends the second rank. Mm -hmm. So this will end the game once I take your knight with check and then take your h-pawn with no more analysis. If king h8 in this position, uh, let's see, queen e8 check, and knight g5 check, winning the queen again, an idea we've seen already. And this is indeed losing with h2 but queen h4 is the best defense as suggested in the chat by mr malcolm absolutely correct instead he played king h7 capablanca gets a little subtle here with queen d3 setting up here and also poking that x clan <clears throat> so he goes for g6 if king g8 would follow queen d5 check x clan So I understand the point. If here we check, no, no, wait, what's the point? Give me a second, beep, boop, beep. Queen d5 check x climb, that's the end of the variation. Tough. Let's say here, how can we refute this? I mean, I can check and check and take the knight, but my knight's hanging. I can also play knight g5 check. I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Here, maybe, though? That's kind of tough, because then if I play queen check, my knight's hanging, right? So I don't love that. Yeah. Queen h5, and then here. This is what was suggested by Malcolm, but... Ah, now I win your queen. Check here, knight check wins the queen. Yes, I understand. Okay, so king g8 loses to that tactic. Now if queen h4 here, instead there would follow knight g5 double check, king h6, queen h7 is not mate because we can take the knight, knight f7 check, best move here, it looks like the only legal move, queen f5, again only reason, oh, you don't want to lose your queen with mate, right, you got to go here, 
but then knight e5 and wins. Threatening mate in one, and mate in one, and you can't check me either, and there's no way to stop mate. Well, you can give up your queen with check, right? but that, that's it. So that's all force, only one legal move in most of those positions for black. Let's see what else. H2, also a variation here. Knight g5, double check. Knight f7, check. King h5, queen f5, check. Similar variation, right? Almost all the exact same moves. Mate. Nice. Yeah, black didn't have other legal moves here. That was the only move. That was the only move. If you go here, it's mate in one. This is the only legal move. And this was the only legal move. Everything was the only legal move. Well, I guess here you could go back and get mated on the back row. So h2 also got mated by force there. That was nice. So he played g6. Yes, yeah, queen f2, just, that's like the <clears> computer <throat> move, right? <laughs> hey, how's it going, Mariotti? Mariotti? Mariotti. Mariotti Day. <clears throat> it's my favorite streamer. Hey there, Pietro. Probably you. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, good, good. Go ammonium mate. <laughs> so then this. Queen f3, x climb. Very precise move. He stops the check, right? And also gets his queen ready to attack the king still. And defends his knight. Nice little move. I like these moves. I like this, these ideas. Queen c1. No better is queen h4. Queen c3 check. End of variation. Or knight d7. Stopping this, I guess. Queen d3. Hitting the knight. And then knight d4 check. King here, that's mate. Oh, mm -hmm. Jesper with a gifted sub. Yay, thank you, Jesper. Thanks, Jesper. Jesper's all over this stream. Yay. Mate. Given left and right. Yes, and up and down, like the queen. Just mm -hmm. moving all around. Side to side. Diagonally, even. Has she moved diagonally? I think she does. Queen c1. Let's see how he finished this one off. Still looks like, you know, it's pretty tough, right? I wouldn't be 100% sure. Mm -hmm. But losing the H-pawn is like, oof. Gonna lose, probably. Oh, got him. <laughs> and resigns. Yes, yes, crushed it. Crushed it there. Did you spell it properly? Oh. No one knows. <laughs> Marriott today. Yeah, so that was a very difficult example because uh, there were some subtle moves, right? I mean, even knight e4 is pretty subtle to start, and queen d3 as well. Okay, this move's not too subtle. But queen f3, great move. And then he checks and wins by force here. Forcing the king there for, for the win. Really nice. Yeah, this is this is very complicated. Definitely very uh, delicate handling of the situation. Mm -hmm. He avoided all the checks, made forcing moves of his own, and at the end forced a way to trade the queens too. We win a queen actually. Queen d three doesn't seem subtle. Oh yeah, that's kind of sort of true, I guess. It does set up a lot of threats. But wouldn't you think about other moves though, like check, and there and such? Well, okay, your knight's hanging, but. Yeah. Like, I would try to check and take, I think, if I was just playing this in a normal game. Mm -hmm. But then that allows the guy to keep checking you, and you have to calculate all that. So Capablanca made it so he never had to worry about perpetual check the way that he was playing. He always stopped his opponent's checks and set up his own threats simultaneously against the weak black king. But yeah, really, the reason that white was better here to start and the entire time was because of that, right? Mm -hmm. Our knight is really good, and their knight is stuck here on, you know, no man's land. So that, that really lost black the game, was his knight's placement. Mm -hmm. Although maybe he could have defended with queen h4, as Malcolm suggested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
All right, let's look at the next one, huh? Definitely. <clears throat> like an extra rook here for a black probably up in exchange <clears> or so I think that um, Archer liked being back at the school more than he thought he would yeah even though school sucks mm -hmm. weird really weird you know it gets tiring being the same place all the time that's true that's somewhat true All right, white to play. We'll change the name. This is a much more recent game. MG Weirdo says, are we still attacking the weak point? Yes, that's what we're doing. Same theme. School's out for the summer. School's out for oh, the summer. summer. Da -da -da -dum, da -da 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 -da. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, so white to play. White to play. Yeah, white's move. Just making sure I set it up right, but it looks right. Yeah. Good night, Nur. Take it easy. The only Alice I listen to is Alice in Chains. MG Weirdo. <laughs> Not, what, what is it, Cooper? Is that right? Yeah, that was. Nothing wrong with that song. It's a classic. Oh, it's GM Benjamin Feingold. Oh, you're Probably too tired? take the night off. Not take the bishop off? Yeah, the uh, school's out for the summer. It's a classic, you know? Yeah, it's no good, obviously. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rook for knight and pawn. Yeah. I guess you're right there. Always sack the exchange. How's it going, snack? Mm -hmm. I'm not responding to all these Brian Adams discussions. I think I already made my position clear on that. Knight f6 looks like something, question mark? Oh, it's uh, it's Mark. Hey, Mark. The Canadian government has apologized <laughs> on several occasions. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, I don't need to discuss Brian Adams anymore with you people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. True. I'd want the pawn back on G7. Yeah, but well, then you'd have back rank issues, right? No, no. Let's see. <clears throat> hmm, I don't even know what to do because the move is on the next page, so I can't even look. Well, I could, but I'd have to turn the page. Bob Seeger style. <laughs> and F6 does look really tempting, as was suggested. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, why not? But I can do that whenever I want, right? Can I always play that move? You can't stop me from playing knight f6 whenever I feel like it. But the black king does have a lot of weaknesses, right? Another candidate move I would consider is uh, pushing these pawns, right? e6 or d6. I was looking at that, but then you got the rook on the back ring. Don't you worry about right. it. Sure. All right, so if you go here, it takes, 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 you have to consider. And the bishop, I guess, can take all right. We can also throw in a check intermezzo, but then mm -hmm. he can block. So that's the problem with pushing this pawn. He can always go here. I'm not really in time. I'm even tempted to play bishop c2. Honestly. That's a move I'm tempted to play. Because he's going to go here anyway, so... Why not just have the bishop on this nice diagonal here? Mm -hmm. And I don't have time to go here and then move my bishop or sacrifice it, which would be really nice. I like to sacrifice. Well, I guess wouldn't help in this position to sacrifice but h4 in the long run king g3 f4 might be good too knight f6 bishop c2 white is clearly winning since he sacked the exchange white's position looks great 
That's for sure. F4 and H4 are also candidate moves, yes. Although I don't know that they're particularly important right now. So yeah, I would probably play either bishop c2 or knight f6 followed by bishop c2. What else comes to mind? King g3 is interesting, though. I do like that idea. I will say that that doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> do you have anything? Uh... Well, I mean, maybe e6 back to that idea again. E6, right. Mm -hmm. I like that idea, actually. That's what you were thinking? Yeah, because I think you could... So let's say I play possibly. F takes, right? I assume you'll take back. Yeah. I'll take your rook. Okay, bishop takes. Bishop takes. So then what is white threatening? To queen. What? With the, um... Your pawn's on E6, though. D... Yeah. So then you can go E7. Okay, but it's black's turn. Um... Yeah, I've lost track of the... It's hard for me to see that many. Oh, the bishop's think. here, and you got a pawn there. And this stuff's all traded. That stuff's all gone. The pawn's here. The bishop's here. So, there is a little problem for black if rook e8, knight f6, fork. Right. So probably I would just play king f8 in that position. I don't know. I feel like I can survive that with, with uh, black because, you know, I'm covering e7 really well. If you can't go to e7, it's going to be difficult for you to queen. You have e8 under wraps because you got knight f6 and a white square bishop. Mm -hmm. So you can control e8. But if I get e7, it's going to be difficult for you to break through. So I like this idea to defend against that. And when you're down in exchange, you don't want to trade rooks. You'd like to have it, he has two rooks, I have one rook. That's better than he has the only rook. His rook would be the strongest piece on the board in that case. Yeah. All right, so let's see what he has to say. We've, we've discussed it enough. White's position is better. His centralized or central pawns are far advanced. <clears throat> and his king is taking part in the game. But black wants to create counterplay with the moves b5, b4, and c5, c4. And he also has an extra exchange. h4, x-clam, as the chat suggested. Based on the bad position of the black king. And it was even asked, why, why not gh? which was, was uh, suggested in the chat as well. And then Pat Sirius is like, I'll just play king g3 first. Everybody liked king g3, h4. But after gh, he just played rook h1. See, he's targeting h7 <clears throat> now, which is kind of what I wanted to do. He's going to play knight check and bring in the rook. And no, I didn't like this because I thought you could go here and take, but I'm noticing now you can't do that because I have a fork. Oh, yeah. So a nice tactical point there. Otherwise, I would have liked this idea more. But I just threw it out. In fact, this happened. But he didn't take here, of course. Because like I said, it's Fork Town. And Rook H4. Yes, nice variation, Jesper. Yeah. Nice. So, Black's play is too slow. Mate's coming first. H6. If BC, check... Keep him in the mating net. D6. Lock down. The idea is rook g4, rook g8, which is unavoidable. For example, rook b2, rook g4. King move. Unstoppable mate. Even if you sack the rook, it only stops it for one turn. So, he didn't play bc. He tried h6. Yes. Rook g4 check. King h8. If king f8, it's the same deal. We'll go here and then we'll go there. Like we already saw. So king h6, king h8 was what was played. And here comes the rook. Yeah, this looks pretty decisive. I've got all three. Pe I did get bishop c2 after all. He's got all the pieces ready to crush. And you can never, like, take the pawn because I can play rook check and knight check and take the rook. Nice. Nice tactical defense. This is an important point. Mm -hmm. The tactical defense there. Really good. And notice that the knight here, he didn't play knight f6, right? The knight here protects the pawn tactically. But it also gives white the option to, with rook g7, which he just did. 
So the knight on h5 is better than playing knight f6 right away. Because if your knight was on f6, you couldn't play rook g7, of course. Right. So the knight here covers this and covers that. Very nice. Wait, how does it cover the d5? Oh, I gave this variation. We oh, check yeah. and then fork. Oh, the fork. Because of the fork, yeah. We got to check first so we don't lose our... Well, so we make the king move mm -hmm. and we don't lose our rook. Yes. <clears throat> rook g7. Very nice stuff. Very accurate to play there. Uh, so he played bc in this position. b3 also is losing after a, b, c, b, bishop e4, b2, e6. b1 equals queen. The variation does continue. And a nice mating pattern. Maybe you've seen this pattern before. The knight covering the squares and the rook mating in front. Mm -hmm. Usually the bishop's defending, but here we got a pawn. This is famously uh, the mating pattern that Fisher used when he sacrificed his queen against one of the burn brothers. I forgot which one. He didn't really even sacrifice his queen because he took all the guy's pieces for the queen. And then he used the, the same mating pattern, but it was a bishop protecting the rook there. So, BC. Yeah, the king. Too bad the king march didn't happen, right? Poor Nigel. He'd be he'd be so happy then. All right, BC. D six. So he's still setting up for the mate, right? Mm -hmm. He's still clearly setting up that mate. Here it is. Uh, see, I thought this was mate, but it's obviously not, right? So he took this. Now this is a threat of mate. So he goes here. Still complicated position. But we'll be able to queen. And if he takes, we can stop his pawns with our king. So he goes for this. But he's a rook down after this. And so he resigned. Rook up. And these pawns are not going to make it. <laughs> For example. Mm -hmm. That's going to be good night moon. Good night cow jumping over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this was a really nice... This is one of my favorite examples we've seen so far. Because of the fact that he kept the knight here and tactically defended the pawn. Which I was not doing at all when I was analyzing takes and then rook h1 again the tactical defense c4 bishop c2 you still can't take the pawn the knight is doing extra duty here and the rook is going to converge on the h file or in this case he actually went here and then to h7 but this was the weak point he was targeting was h7 certainly all of his pieces collecting on that square good stuff and okay he calculated it precisely but these moves are easy to play right mm -hmm. most people would play some of these moves if yeah, not all of them definitely yeah but he calculated it nicely from here out it was donald burns says mariotti <clears throat> good night jasper thank you i liked schematic thinking the most <clears throat> oh yeah i remember hearing about that uh, from an agard book actually jakob agard yeah. Yeah. All right, so we came to the end of this subsection, so maybe one more game to end the stream. It's been about two hours, um, unless you want it to go a little longer. <clears throat> yeah, we could end soon, I guess. All right. Because I think um, Ben checked in real quick and said that he's probably not going to stream. It seems like he's tired. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, that. then we don't have to... Um, go to seven. Right. Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've got some right. other things I could do too. So we've got flexibility. All right. Well, why don't you uh, get one of these challenges going? Yeah, it's definitely. Like you've, got a, you've got a goat that wants to get yeah. in on you. Oh, oh, you might stream later. Yeah, we've got this stinky goat. All right. Mountain goat. Yeah, he's he smells because of he's like a corpse. You know, it's a demon goat. Yeah. So I would assume that he died 
right? Or imply that he died. At least. Go stream. Nine sounds good. Yeah, just do a later stream. Instead of not streaming. <clears throat> Tired, old, and sick. Got a lot of a lot of excuses. <laughs> a lot of excuses. Come on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait, you know, for voting tomorrow. And yeah, even right though I've, I've already voted, but... Do you think that uh, it will descend to anarchy? Tomorrow? Well, you know, <laughs> in the next few days. <laughs> I do think that there is potential for some uh, violence. I yeah. Do, yeah. Certainly. Yeah, I've lived through several elections already and none of them were so contentious in my lifetime and i know you've been through a few more yourself mm -hmm. and i don't i don't know if you can corroborate that but has, has any election been this contentious um as far as the people <clears throat> hating each other and stoking violence <laughs> not that i recall but tired after voting for trump <laughs> too funny <laughs> no matter what the election results it's already unfair yes <sighs> you know whenever things are like barely bad it's like the worst thing that ever happened to you you should be upset when you hang your queen in one move and stuff oh he doubled my bonds so what Scottish demon goat he's never won a game by exploiting doubled pawns in his whole life and he never will and if he did this time it would be the first time ever so you know, late sixties were bad, says Ken West. Yeah. Hmm. Who was it in the late sixties? I don't even know. Is that the real? Is Frank that the real Frank. Ken West? Yes, of course. Oh, well, I thought it was an imposter. No, no, it's the the real Slim Shady. Hey, Ken West. The Grandmaster himself. I thought it was. Uh, I had to be an imposter. It's not the move mm. I expected from the goat. Mm mm. One very old and wise GM taught me double pawns are twice as good. Yes, hey, two bishops, what else? Hey, two bishops, what else? Glad you could join us at the tail end of our stream here. Well, we'll uh, see how long we stream still, but... When is Ben going to do the Zoom-based stream with folks like Yasser, Ken West, etc.? <laughs> <laughs> I like folks like Yasser and Ken West. That's, <laughs> they, they're together. I mean, Yasser's, folks. You know, Yasser's a, like a legend. Well, Ken West is too, I guess. I mean, it'll happen at some point. Oh, thanks for rating us, the Master John. What is it, six? Yay, thank nice. you, Master John. I missed the class. I'm going to rewatch it later. Yeah, it was a fun one, I would say. I've been enjoying these middle game. Oh, thanks, uh, Kangaroo, for gifting that sub to Ken. Awesome. Yes, Ben made Ken West a legend. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's going to stream with folks like Kanye West. No, it's much better to stream with Ken than Kanye. Come on. Kanye is insane. Ken West, also crazy, but he, he keeps it together, you know. Yeah, my tummy is noisy today, huh? Mm-hmm. Streaming. <clears throat> Provoking Ricky one, I like it. That's the whole point. The whole point of provoking rookie one. <laughs> Kanye is insane only if you are sane. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh that is a good point. Drumstick. Drum stuck. Drum stuck. <laughs> it is drum stuck. <laughs> it's like drumstick and dumbstruck put together. <laughs> drum stuck. No. No, no, no. 
<laughs> Where's never play F3 emotes? Come on. All right. God damn it. It's a sad world. <laughs> <clears throat> Here comes the passage pawn. It's kind of tough with the bishop controlling a8, huh? But Karen's undeterred. Here comes the counterplay. Knight a5, random legal move, pretty good. I like it. Knight c6, somewhat helpful. Yes, indeed. Two bishops, Vata else with five gift subs. Thanks, two bishops, Vata else. Go, two bishops, Vata else. Yes. Definitely a favorite on our streams, no doubt about that. Yeah, two, two bishops of hotels. Yay! <clears throat> Dang, your opponents are always queening their A-pawn against you. Yeah. It's, it's a tough life. It does seem like that happens a bit. A bit free, frequently? Mm-hmm. There's some counterplay for you. No. <laughs> well, you could have tried f6, right? Yeah. To not have to trade queens now. <clears throat> Go, Karen and Spencer. Yay. Go us. Yay. We're the best. Some of the best players that we know. Mm hmm. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Tough game. <laughs> That Had was enough. interesting. Let's take a look, huh? Yeah, Scottish mm -hmm. Demon Goat's pretty tough. I always tell you to play E6, but I've never seen you do it. E6, D5. Just pretend it's a French. Mm. So yeah, when you play this setup here with E5, C5, generally you'd be going for a Botvinnik setup, but... The problem is that your knight actually should go here in this case, generally. So this is kind of bad for black. Usually you play c6. Yeah, and yeah. Trying something new. Mm -hmm. I've played this other little, I call it the little V. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the best kind. <laughs> But yeah, if you want to do that, then uh, I'll show you how. You would go here first, <laughs> and then here, and then like this, and then you play knight there, and then like that. Fiend kettle your king's bishop. That's the way to do it. You can even do a different move order, like where you play g6 first, and then let's just say that they are kind of nice and don't interrupt you, right? <laughs> and then you can go like this. Yeah, they could do stuff like an early b4, mm -hmm. or even e3, knight e2, d4. But th this would be the, the way the more precise move order, because then you could go here, you keep your f5 available, and castling kingside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the way the game went here, now you'll, you won't play with f5 ever. So it's actually a little worse in that case. Yes. Ginger GM likes the Botvinnik English. That's hard to believe, because it's, you know... Does it seem like it's kind of opening, but yeah. Now probably the best way for white to play is to go e3, knight e2, knight d5, knight c3, and or e3, knight e2, d4. He just played d3 though, which is probably okay. And then here, yeah. So I don't really like either of your knight's placements. This move's ridiculous. What are you doing here? Bishop e7 castle, clear it frankly. Or bishop e6. Like this is the weakest square. When you get the V going, you got weak D5 square. Mm -hmm. So you, you should control that square with your pieces. That's actually another problem with here is they could go here and take and control this square too. 
which is interesting, but it does give up the bishop pair. Which is what he did. I like it. Yeah, see? Yeah, I, I would totally play like this with white. Why not? So yeah, here your bishop should be here, and then you could take. So if you want a plan, it's this. That's the plan. So you play a6, rook b8, b4. b5 even. b5 better than b4. More mm -hmm. legal. Mm -hmm. And then you could go here also if you're afraid of this. So instead here, you let him double you up. Now you were like, oh, this is the worst thing ever happened to me. But let me show you something else. Something you'll really enjoy. I'm getting the move order confused here. Also, I'm going to use the openings for to cheat. Like this. Yeah, here it is. You ready? Mm -hmm. Theoretical move here. Look, you can see right here. Most people play bishop takes c3, 800 games. But 160 with 97, that's not... And notice that 97 scores better, right? You see? Mm -hmm. See what I mean? 97 is <clears throat> maybe even the best move. And notice most people don't play bishop takes f6. Right? Most people don't. And it scores terribly for white. You can't even read the percentage there. There's no percentage. <laughs> and black scoring 78% win, 15% draw. Most people play knight h4. So, yeah, it's not uh, so bad to have to do this. Now, in your game, it was obviously a little different because of the bishop pair scenario. Like, you had the bishop pair and then you lost it. You had the bishop pair and then you, you lose it like this. So that's the downside. Yeah. But even still... I don't think your position is awful. Of course, I would probably defend my king. And now you play here. Well, the square is still weak. Maybe you can get this going. E3, good move. Okay, he took here, which is okay. Okay, but why not this? Mm -hmm. Winning. Winning the game. If you go here, I'll just take it twice, because your h pawn's pinned. If you go here, I'll take it twice, because I, you know, or I'll take it three times. Whatever mm -hmm. you make me do, I'll take it. <laughs> so I'll win another pawn. So queen h5, one material. Uh, this might be the best move, but you lose a pawn, obviously, frankly. So I don't know why he didn't play that. Kind of weird. He played this, playing on the queen side, and then you made him take your pawn. It seems like a strange decision, don't you think? Obviously, I didn't see it. He played here, you didn't see this? I just didn't see it. Mm -mm. I mean, that's why he played there. All right, well, I'm just telling you. Okay. Well, 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 you should ask yourself, why did he play that? Um, he has to attack your hanging pawn. Got to look at your opponent's forcing moves. Mm -hmm. There. Okay, so then you lost the pawn, now you're losing. And then also your your rook is kind of in a, in a problem. But yeah, so here's the problem. You you often just move around and do nothing, mm -hmm. which is okay. But if you're losing, then you got to like mix it up a bit. You know, mm -hmm. you can't just play like normal. So I'd be doing stuff like this and that, and then I'd lose later. Right? I'd be making pawn breaks or something. You yeah, got to do something. Yeah, more attacking if I'm already down. Yeah, because maybe it's bad and you'll lose. But if you do nothing, you'll lose. True. So you got to give yourself some chance. Yeah, now you got to move your rook because he's trying to trap you. But you did have an interesting tactical option that one of the viewers suggested. Oh, well, here, I mean, I'd probably take because I thought this would lose more material. But you do have an interesting move here. Okay, this is fine, probably. Maybe not. Okay, yeah, here. This. Yes. Yeah, JOA suggested this. Yes, exactly right. Great move. Great suggestion, JOA. This is absolutely interesting, at least. Go, Karen. Yay, Spencer. Papa John's. Simply queen d2, but then we'll take here. Drum stuck. We'll take this. That's the point. We're attacking this enough. Yes. So... Uh, it's J O A O. I don't know how to pronounce that name. Joao, Joao. How are you supposed to pronounce that? It's hard to see it. J O A O. He typed it normal. Joa. Joa. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Good Joa enough. Joa <laughs> of T B zero. Yeah. Joa of something. 
Knight d2 is suggested. That's a better move, yes. Knight d2. Yeah. Knight d2 probably still wins then, right? Yeah. Knight d2 looks looks good. Maybe queen queen b queen b7? So the point is pretty clear. If he takes here, you win the piece back and you're mm -hmm. winning with interest. So he, we're trying to go here, then we'll just pick you up later. So I'll go here. Attacking again. Now you can defend it again like king f2, which is also suggested in the chat. Yeah, you're going to lose your bishop, right? You can try some tricks, but it's not going to work. I guess you could have tried it. And then the rest is history. I don't understand what this is about. Just queen already. Come on. Why do you want the knight there even? Blocks your bishop. And then trades it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Queen c3 check. Uh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, but here you should play f6, right? Because always play f6. Mm -hmm. Now he can queen and check you. But now you've got at least one threat. Nah. <laughs> you don't even have one threat. Dang it. Yeah. And he can just do nothing here and he's winning, right? You're not threatening anything. You could try, like, if you get three moves in a row. No, but you could have got scared my queen, too. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. you're right. That You're right. That's better, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that. You're right. Good spot there. Nice shot. That ends the game, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was done for here. But this makes you trade the queen, so that's also going to lose, of course. Yeah, queen and rook a7. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Karen would never play knight h4. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that was too complicated. And it's still lost anyway. But, yeah, basically, you more or less lost the game because you hung the pawn, actually. Yeah. You played here attacking yeah, it and you I ignored it. That. Yeah. Otherwise, it was like, oh, maybe you, know, you were a little worse because your king side was bad and, and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. but that was the reason that, that the game ended, really. Tough game. Scottish mm. Demon Goat's no joke. <laughs> That's why we call him the goat. The goat. Well, I wonder... We should probably go ahead and end. Yeah, well, maybe we can find somebody cool to raid. What do yeah. you think? What I do you, see what do you who's... Think? What, what do we got? Let's see who's... Uh, Anybody who's uh, pretty cool? Pretty streaming. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Ridiculous. None of these people I want to raid. Except the second from the bottom there. Mm, right here? CDL. Yeah. This one here? Yeah, that's what yeah, I Yeah, I agree with. with that one. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, thank you, Drumstack. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, so we have identified our raid. Target. Target. It's like identifying weak points in the position. Right. <laughs> and, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. I know I did. And um, we will see you, what's today? Monday. Monday. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Afternoon sometime. Bye, everyone. When. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you.